In the years following the Cuban Revolution of 1959, Miami witnessed dramatic changes as hundreds of thousands of Cubans fled the island for a new life in Florida. Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera. Over the past half century, the so-called exiled community made their mark here both culturally and politically. But the memories of what they left behind or why they fled are never far from their minds. So I never touched the ground in Cuba. So I was born in a place where I never touched ground. Tony Mia came to Florida during Operation Pedro Pan, the mass exodus of 14,000 unaccompanied children from Cuba in the early 60s. He was just 17 days old at the time and says his parents made huge sacrifices. They had to leave everything. Imagine just leaving your house. Right now, everything you own, all your possessions, leave and go to another country for freedom of death. You know, so we came over here. Americans welcomed them with open arms. We love America. Uh, I'm a U.S. citizen. Uh, I'm very proud of it. Saludos, amigos. Bienvenidos a este programa Alternativa. For older Cuban Americans, resisting the Castro government has been part of life in the U.S. So the normalization of diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Cuba, announced almost two years ago, was seen by many here as an act of treason. In the practice, up to now, they have given unilateral concessions without getting anything in return in terms of the respect for human rights and for the freedoms of the Cuban people. The life of Fidel Castro looms large over Cuban Americans of all ages. It's part of their story and in essence why this community exists. But for those that lived in post-revolutionary Cuba and gave up so much to start new lives here, his death has so much more meaning and offers a glimmer of hope. Fidel Castro embodied a Cuban revolution which for these people resulted in loss, separation and years of struggle. Here at least Castro's death is cause for joy rather than mourning. And Gallagher Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.